Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install a tracking pixel and conversion pixel in Shopify so you can track what's going on on your website and optimize your adverts. So this is probably the most requested thing. A lot of people will have trouble figuring this out and it can be quite hard if you don't know the proper way to do it. And there's not many videos online that actually show you. So I'm going to show you how to do it, the best way to do it, and just the simplest way. It doesn't need to get um, technical and confusing. So we'll get straight into it and I'll show you how I install my tracking pixels. And for you guys that don't know what tracking pixels are, uh, I use one for tracking who comes to my website. So then I can use that later on to retarget them in future adverts. And I also use a purchasing uh, conversion pixel. So what happens is every time I get a conversion, a sale, my um, Facebook ads will only will charge me for that. But they, they do also charge me for impressions, but they're going to optimize my advert for conversions. So I, I pay 41 cents per sale uh, for this specific advert here. This is probably going to be a winner out of the rest. The rest haven't actually made any conversions. This is a test I did um, last night. So yeah, six conversions, so six purchases. And I'm going to show you how to set that up. And then my Facebook ad is now optimized for conversions. So as you can see here, 41 cents per conversion. So we'll get right into it. I'll show you how to do it. You want to be in your Facebook um, ads manager, so manage ads. You want to go to tools and it should say create pixel here, but I've already done one. So I've already got my pixels up and you just want to go into here and it should say something here like create pixel. I, I can't remember what, what it says. I did mine a while ago, but it should say create a pixel here and then you'll go through the process of creating one and you'll get the code. But I'm just going to go to view my pixel code and here it is. But I'm not actually going to use this one here because I've just blurred out my page so you guys can't see it. So we're going to use this one here. I've just copied it over. Now, don't worry about this bit at the bottom. This is um, for when we do our um, conversion pixel. So we're going to be doing two separate codes. This first one here is going to be to track who comes to your website uh, so you can add them to a custom audience list if you like and retarget them for our future adverts. As you notice here, there's a little um, snippet of code that says track page view. That's what you want in this one, just that you don't want anything else. And then we're going to copy that and you're just going to go to your Shopify and you're going to go to this little icon here, online store and then themes and then you're going to click on here and edit HTML. Now you don't have to do this, this is only for if you want to track, but I'm going to show you both anyway, uh, just makes sense to do that. And you want to click on theme and liquid. And what you're going to do, I'll just delete my code here. You want to find the head. So click on head here and it's going to highlight the head at the bottom. Okay, very straightforward stuff. So you've got two head sections here. You want to go to here, push enter and put do another space. You've got a space here and simply copy your code. Okay, so this is the code here that I copied from my um, text file. You want to make sure this is here. So what this does is this tracking code is now on every single page of your website and it's going to track who visits your site. That's all this one's for, just tracking who visits your site. So if you don't want to track that, you don't have to put this in, but I do advise you to do that. It's going to give you more accurate um, data on your Facebook uh, adverts account. So that's all you want to do for this. And I'm just going to delete that because I don't need that in there. I'll just go back. It should um, leave leave here. So you're just in the head section right before the last one on your theme liquid. And this is just for tracking, not conversions yet. I'm just going to leave this page. Next, you want to go to where are we going? You want to go to settings and you want to go to checkout. This is where we're going to be putting our next code and we're going to be putting it down here. Okay, down here. So ads manager, what you want to do now is you want to get a code. I'm going to go create conversion, track custom conversion. Oh, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to go to track conversions with some code. So you remember how we had the little snippet here that does the actual, um, that will tell Facebook what's going on. We want to get the purchase one. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the purchase one to the code. And we're going to add it just under page view. 
So what this does is this will tell Facebook when someone has purchased something from your website, but we're going to put it on the thank you page after the checkout. But the problem is it says value 0.00. .00. So what you need to do is put in how much the item costs. So if it costs 20 bucks, you'd put 20.00 or 30.00 for $30. But the problem with that is you have basic, you're, you're telling Facebook that all your items on your store cost $30. So if you're if you have different price items, you need to put this little snippet in there instead. And I'll leave that in the, in the description for you. So where the numbers are, you simply paste that and leave it like that. Or change it to the currency that your Facebook adverts is, so US or whatever. Just leave it like that. So you've changed the currency here and change it here. I think I might have a double up. I don't know. Just let me check my code and I'll make sure I don't have a double up here um, and we'll be right back. All right, so I have a double up. So I'm going to get rid of this one here. And that's it. So you want to put this little tracking code under page view. Just here. Purchase, value, and then just put the code where those numbers were, okay? That's it. Then you want to copy this again. And if you want to, like you could also put other things in. So if you want to do like your leads or add payment info or complete registration, but you have to put that on different pages. So we're not going to get into that. That, that starts to get confused, confusing. You only need to do purchases, okay? This is what I've talked about in all my other videos. So we're going to copy this code now. I'm going to go back to our um, Shopify. And when you're in the checkout section, you want to go down to where it says additional content and scripts and you want to add that code in there okay so now you've got the code in here and this will be on the thank you page so when someone checks out it's going to fire to google and tell them that they've made a purchase okay so you've got your view pixel on your entire page from when you put it into the themes uh, your entire site and now you've got your um, purchase conversion tracking in the additional content and scripts so this is on the um, thank you page after someone makes an order okay now how do you check to and then just push save so how do you check to make sure you actually have the pixels working so this is very um easy to do i will show you really quickly um just, i just want to make sure i've haven't messed anything up here while doing this not sure what happened there so i'll show you um how to do that okay My keyboard is uh, going flat here. So if we bring this down, you will see that I have an a, um, extension called Pixel Helper. You need to get that, and it's going to tell you that your pixels are firing correctly. So as you can see here, my page view one that I put into my header is working, okay? Now, to check the purchase one, there's really no other way to do that unless you wait for someone to purchase or you purchase yourself and just refund. And what happens is when you purchase, when you get to the thank you page, check this again, and then it'll come up and it'll have the little, it'll say purchase um, in brackets here. And it will, it will if it's green, you're good. If it's um, red, then there's an issue. But if you follow this video exactly how I've done it, you shouldn't have any issues at all. Okay, so we'll just go over that um, quickly one more time so you get the hang of it of what we're talking about here. So when you get your pixel, view pixel code, you want to put the one with page view and nothing else in the header section of your theme. So this is going to be for your whole website and it's going to track every person that visits your website from your Facebook advertising. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I recommend you do do this for better, da for better data. Now. And then you put that in the theme head section, which is what I showed you in the in the start of the video. Next, you want to, for your purchases, you want to go to create conversion, get some custom code here, and get your purchase, and then put that into the code like I showed you before. So right here. And then you want to change the value to the code here that I have. Um, I think we really need to do this section here. So we're going to change the value right here to that. This is only if you have different prices of, through your whole site. 
and then you put this code into your um, checkout section where it's asked for the extra snippets. And that's it. So you got two codes, tracking and purchasing. I hope that helped you guys who had the issues. If you do have any more problems, just leave a comment here. But if you follow this video, you shouldn't have any problems. It's but That's basically exactly how you do it. The most common problem people have, and it's really bad because it's going to cost you a lot of money, is when you put your tracking pixel in the theme, a lot of people will put the purchase pixel there, tracking code. So what happens when people go from Facebook to your website, to any page of your website, it comes up as a conversion on Facebook. So they're charging you for all these conversions that have never happened. They don't exist because you put your um, purchase pixel on the wrong page. So you're going to be on Facebook. You might have 10, 20 conversions, but no sales. And then they're charging you a dollar for each conversion. You've just wasted 10 or $20 when it hasn't actually happened. And it's going to give Facebook the complete wrong idea and it's going to mess up all your ads and it's just a big mess. So you want to make sure your purchase code is on the um, status page of the checkout. So uh, your your after you know your thank you page. That's what you want to do here, and this is what this section does for you. And follow this video cor uh, correctly, and you shouldn't have any problems. You shouldn't have any issues. And then test your pixels and make some money with Shopify. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Any more questions? Let me know, and I'll do a video about it. Someone did ask me to do a video about the extensions I use, but I'm probably not going to do that. I'll just reply to you directly and tell you what I use because I don't really use much. Uh, so I don't really want to do a video about it. But uh, I'll see you guys then and have fun making money on Facebook.